Over the July 4th weekend, Central Texas and the Texas Hill Country experienced catastrophic and historic flooding that took the lives of at least 50 people. Well over a foot of rain fell in just hours. But why was this event so devastating? There's a climate change connection that we can talk about here. First, let's understand the meteorology. The area here is known as Flash Flood Alley. The topography enhances storm system, causing them to dump more rain than they might elsewhere. That heavy rain then rushes through the creeks and the rivers that make the area so idyllic. The weather maker? Remnants of Tropical Storm Barry stuck over Texas and blocked in all direction. High pressure to the west as well as the northeast and a low pressure system over the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. This essentially created a traffic jam in the atmosphere with no road for this weather system to get out, leaving it stuck meandering for days over Texas. The result, generation scale rainfall, over a summer's worth of rain in just a few hours. Austin typically sees a little over two inches of rain in the month of July. Kerr County and areas near Austin both got over a foot of rain. Now here's the climate connection. The water cycle has been supercharged. A warmer atmosphere is a greedier atmosphere. It holds more moisture and releases it unevenly. And while rain events in this part of Texas are becoming fewer and far between, when these storms do form, the effect creates heavier rainfall. Austin's heaviest downpours have gotten 19% heavier as the climate warms. San Antonio's have increased 6%. Higher rainfall rates mean a higher risk of flash flooding. Over a third of inland flooding in the United States is linked to climate warming. The Gulf of Mexico fueled the low-level moisture that this weather maker tapped into. Water temperatures were running 1 to 2 degrees above average for early July, made 10 to 30 times more likely by man-made climate change. Warmer oceans mean more evaporation, higher supply of moisture to tap into, which means more intense storms. Look, this isn't to say that this specific flood would not have occurred without climate change. But we do know that climate change is making events like these more likely, more extreme, and more frequent, with more water available to fall faster and in greater amounts.